Hey guys, hopefully you're doing well, Harry here and today we're going to talk about uh, uh, data visualization, right? So what is basically a data visualization? Uh, well, data visualization is a technique where you can visualize your data set into form of graph uh, and chart, basically just to find a pattern. And of course, to do quantitative analysis, uh, quantitative analysis is more about the statistical analysis and uh, uh, well, this help you to make an informed decision and uh, uh, this help you to make a present uh, all the missing block together and uh, uh, it's basically like uh, help you to make a better decision in life, right? So guys, uh, let's move on and let me show you something uh, before we get into the coding part. So, okay guys, so let me show you something, right? This is a data set we are gonna walk today. So, um, uh, this is more about the car and of course the model and uh, the prices and there's a lot of variables over here you can see um, you can see the passenger length uh, wheelbase right so probably we're gonna plot and we're gonna visualize this and we're also gonna deal with some pre-processing technique and uh, um, well I will make this video into a different different section right so first we need to understand how to plot uh, uh, various kind of chart is content bar plot uh, line plot scatter plot uh, after like uh, completing that video then we will walk through this data set right just uh, giving a brief uh, example let me show you like uh, how we normally work out so this is like my last year work you can see over here and those are the plot we are basically gonna work with and those are the analysis and uh, we'll figure out this will help us to make an informed decision okay guys so let's move on with the coding session right guys so now we are in a coding session um i'm just gonna use one of the library which is a matplotlib so i'm gonna import this library uh import matplotlib.pyplot.splt so I'm just gonna run this, right? So uh, basically what's happened over here is like, uh, 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 well, you have, if you have a, some uh, some knowledge of like Node.js or like a React, you know, like um, it's a server-side uh, server programming, right? So basically you just import one code from another modules, right? So similarly, there's a lot of code has been, uh, uploaded into the cloud system and maintained by the matplotlib team so i'm just uh, importing those library and importing those function just to use and plot those uh, uh, chart using my data set right so first we are working with the bar plot so in bar plot we are looking into two variables which is the subject and the score subject can be like the a student of uh, basically what is studying math science history and english and score is like we're looking for like how much uh, marks uh, he or she has achieved so i'm just gonna run this right so after running this i will say plt so i will go for oops sorry b a r bar right so first i have to uh, mention our x axis right so subject right and then we go to score and we're just gonna like uh, press shift and enter so now you can see over here that's how our bar plot look like but i really want to make it really pretty right i want to make it beautiful right so plt dot figure right will give me to uh which will give me a uh, uh basically method to uh have a control onto my uh, width and the height of those plot so let's say fig size and uh I want something like a six by four. Uh, yeah, that's look better. So, okay. Uh, but I also want to label my X and Y axis. So PLT dot X label, right? So I will say score, oops, not score, sorry, subject, right? And uh, let's say PLT dot Y label, and that will go for scores. Okay, so I'm just gonna run this now. You can see over here there's a subject, there's a score, and if you want to give a title, let's say plt dot title, and uh, uh, you can say like something uh, student score, right? And the plt dot show. There we go. 
so that's the just the normal plot you can see over here uh, now you can see that uh, the student has scored most in the history then secondly he has scored in the maths then third on english and followed by science right and uh, you want to make this little bit you know like uh, a little bit like a, a microsoft excel you can do like plt dot grid oh sorry grid true so this is my quite new keyboard so you know like i'm having a difficulty to uh, uh, f fit everything in so okay so yeah now you can see over here that's the grid line right and you can also change the color that will be something like uh, black okay so okay let me explain you what i did over here okay so uh first thing plt figure fixed size will give us control uh to uh change our height and the, of course the the breadth of your um the plot right if i do something like let's say i want to make it a little bit lengthwise right so i will just put a 10 over here so you now you can see over here that's become uh quite broad right but i will say keeping at the uh, six will be better right and uh, uh, secondly is like a plt dot bar will identify the function that we want a bar plot and subject is our x axis and y is our score okay so secondly we are labeling uh, x labels is subject and y label is our score right and after that we have to also label the title which is the student score which comes up over here right and the grid will give us this grid line you can see over here uh the skipping is true and of course the line style will be dashed so you can see over here the dash lines that's keep because of the line style and alpha is like how visible you want if i put something like seven it will become more darker the grid line so i try to keep it as minimum as possible which will give me a beautiful plot right and the color of the color define the, the grid color you can just set it to different color if i say red it will give me actually a red right okay so let's move on with the line plot right guys so let's not waste our time and let's move on to the line plot right so uh basically a line plot is a little bit different as compared to uh uh scatter plot right so uh let me uh make you understand the different right so uh when you are working with the discrete variable discrete is like uh, uh there's always a uh, um certain gap on the variables let's say like uh it's in a counting number one two three or even number two four six those are the discrete variables right even the odd number is also discrete variable like one three five size so don't worry about that right so but when it's come to a continuous variable we have to use a line plot so uh where we will find a continuous variable uh continuous variable can be your sales projections right uh if you're making a continuous sales or maybe a stock market data right or um, it can be something which is continuously uh, in a percentage, right? Let's say 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, and then suddenly went to like 1.7, then 1.8, then 2.1, right? So these are the continuous variable, right? So uh, most of them is like the live stock market data, those are the continuous variable, right? So you can see over here, this is the data structure is quite different as compared to our previous one. So previous one was like subject and score, those are our list right so for purposely i made a dictionary over here right so i really want to show you how to plot a uh, line plot if there is a dictionary over here right so uh if there is a no dictionary just a normal list uh you can do like the same and you can just change the tab right so uh now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna run this first right i'm gonna show you like uh, how to do indexing right so if i do sales right I can find the sales isn't it so if i do uh, something like uh, months right i'll find the months here isn't it so i really want to plot this right so let's not waste our time i'm just gonna copy this code i'm just gonna reuse this right so i'm just gonna paste over here so i'm just gonna cut this section right and uh, probably pretty much we're gonna edit this also right so i'm just gonna remove this from here so you know it's become more clear and easy okay so guys those are the same step right so now over here we will do plt dot plot right just the plot 
and uh, probably we need like uh, data right and of course the x-axis is gonna be our months okay and the data where our y-axis is gonna be our sales right and uh, yeah that should be fine so now you can see over here this is our uh, line plot right so x-axis is gonna be our months right y-axis is gonna be our sales right and let's say uh, sales for casting right just for like plotting you know what I mean so I will show you in future about how to deal with the real data so this is just a dummy data to show you like oh how you can work out with the plot okay so guys uh, oh yeah this one we can make it black so so guys hopefully you find this really easy right so now uh, the last one let's work with the scatter plot okay guys so our last topic is a scatter plot uh, on this video probably on another video uh, I will make more plots right and it is very important to know about the plots uh, because let's say you walk into the whole data set but you have to present your work without plotting charts and graph you won't be able to make informed decision and you won't be able to show anything to your stakeholders right and uh, uh, why the scatter plot is one of the most important plot in our data science uh, well uh, in future I will make a video on predictive analysis right so predictive analysis is more about using linear regressions model uh, polynomial regressions model or uh, some call it like a OLS ordinary list square or you heard about the GLS or weighted list square WLS so there's plenty of models right and uh, uh, well in future we'll of course gonna work on that right so on the machine learning algorithm right and scatter plot is the one of the uh, plot which help you to make an informed decision using machine learning algorithm where you will predict the future right so uh, right now let me demonstrate how we're gonna use a scatter plot right so uh, uh, first thing first, I'm going to import one more library, right? But I will make a brief video in that library because that library is very important for engineering, right? Because it's more about the numerical uh, computations, right? And uh, it's actually a NumPy, right? So a lot of people know about this, right? So I'm going to import a NumPy as NP. So now I have imported NumPy, right? So I'm just going to use a random variables from NumPy. So NP dot uh, random dot seed right and I'll just put it to zero right uh, so after this this will help me to generate a, a random data set right so first I will give a height right let's say a height of the a person right so not a person basically a populations so different between the populations is like a population we can say the whole world is a populations when it's come to a sample sample is like let's say a Glasgow is a sample right so similarly let's say we have a height of the whole populations right so let's say we have created a random right and uh, oops sorry normal normal right and uh, lock 170 to scale till uh, 10 and okay let's uh, select the let's select the samples on the whole population that will be let's say 100 sample okay so let me see okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do len so len is a function using Python to check the length of your rows uh, uh, so basically I'm just gonna put a height over here so that should give me the length of 100 right so that's exactly 100 so let's say uh, weight right we're gonna do same np dot uh, random which will create a random variables right so normal right and uh, lock 65 right and uh, let's say scale something like 5 and size equal to 100 okay so similarly i'm just gonna get more blocks over here and let's say lan weight okay so yeah that's said so now we're gonna plot the uh, scatter plot right? i'm just gonna copy this again right right so i'm just gonna delete this part and of course i'm gonna delete those label on the x and y axis and of course the title right and uh, so what i'm gonna do over here i'm just gonna do same plt and i'm gonna say sca 
right and uh, tter scattered that's the function we have got over here now so uh what i want to do is now is like uh, i want to put a height right and the weight right so i'm just going to put a height and the weight okay so it should give me the scatter plot between the height and the weight okay and uh, uh x level will be height this one capital h right and weight height versus weight okay so now you can see there's a scatter plot between the height versus weight so uh, i don't see any trend over here right i just see like there's uh, no correlations between the height and the weight um well i know like most of you must be finding it difficult what i'm saying right now right but in future when i will show you how to solve with the equations then you will figure out like uh okay it's actually a trend or it's a no trend or it's like a basically a downward trend so yeah um in future we're probably gonna walk into the trend line okay so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel